What is good YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a major transformation on my guy Evan. We're going to chop this hair. How long have you had it? How old are you? So 13 years worth of hair with you know some trims in between. But we're gonna get into it and chop this off. Let's get it. This is this is this is the crazy part. This is the one that's like what? Do you want to put it in a ponytail and and keep it? You want? Yeah, I had a feeling. Good. You want you want to tie it up? All right, you ready? Oh shoot. Now that the monumental part is over let's get into the actual haircut so we're gonna start off by sectioning off the sides um, from the top and it's just gonna make it more manageable and easy to work with so we'll go ahead and clip that up and now right here I'm gonna come in with my foreguard with the grain of his hair going downwards and this is just to debulk and get ready to get into the taper so as you can see I'm clearing the areas where I'm going to cut and right now I'm going to debulk with that number two guard and really clean this area up since there was so much hair growth to go ahead and start this taper. So I'm just coming off the shape of his head, not trying to create too harsh of a line here. Now we're going to come in with our trimmer to start this taper. So this is our bald line and we're starting a little below the bottom of the ear. And I'm just going straight across here. Now we're going to come in lever open on our clipper, going up about a finger's width, still maintaining that same um, straight look. We're not curving this line in any way, shape, or form. Now to start getting rid of this line, I'm going to come in closed and then open up that lever little by little. So I went ahead and closed it right here. And I'm just tapping at that line, working upwards. And as you can see, that line is pretty much blended out. And yes, my clippers are zero gaps, so it makes it a lot easier to get rid of that line. Now we're going to follow that up with our one guard lever all the way open. Again, a finger's width. And we're just getting into this taper, man. Because with big chops, this could be a very overwhelming experience to start a whole new haircut. But we're just staying clean and patient here. So now we're back to that two guard at the top of this taper. Still coming off the shape of his head, this will be the biggest guard that we're using. Now we're blending down with that one and a half. And we'll close that lever as needed. And now we went ahead and closed it right here, just to lighten up this dark spot. And that one and a half didn't really get rid of it fully, so I'm going to come in with my one guard open. And then we'll close that lever as needed, trying to get this as blurry as we can. But as you can see that taper came together so now we're going to go to the side and establish our bald line here so i started at the inside of the ear and then at the end of the eyebrow and i'm going to bald it out with my shaver and then again lever all the way open we're going to be following the same steps that we did in the back just in a different area right so as you can see on this side taper i kind of rounded it out and that's because i want to keep the edges of this taper dark to really make that line up pop Just working to get this line out start it off close and then gradually open it now we're at our one guard open still maintaining that kind of burst shape now we went ahead and closed that lever to line up that line in between but it didn't get rid of it fully so we're at our half guard open and then we'll close that as needed and you can say you see this taper really start to come together here Then we're at our two guard, going right above that. And we are gonna use a bigger guard than the two on the side here, but we're just trying to clear space and we're gonna blend down from right here. So 
so now I have my one and a half lever open and I'm just attacking this line and then I went ahead and closed it now we're at our one guard open and we're gonna use the corner of this blade to go ahead and lighten up that dark area that you see right under that too And now for the biggest guard we are using, this is our four guard. And this should pretty much blend into the side with very little, little um, you know, scissor over comb. Just coming off the shape of his head here, trying to blend that in. And now we're going to go ahead and line up his arch. So we're going to start at the top of his arch and establish that line. And then we're going to head over to the bottom and we're going to meet those two points in the middle, as you can see right here. And that is how you get a nice round arch without, you know digging into it too much and it really made that taper pop as you can see so now we're going to line up around his nape area so we're starting at the top of his ear trying not to take this area too high then we're going to go to the bottom of his nape and meet those two points in the middle and this is really going to make this taper come to life And now to really blend into that weight there on the sides because we want to keep that length we're going to do some scissor over comb to really polish it up here as you can see that is looking super clean and now let's get into the top so with this i'm not you know this isn't anything technical here i'm just chopping off the bangs um, to his eyes so we can actually see and then we'll get into the trim so i'm just chopping off those bangs because we are going to line it up anyway so we're going to go ahead and dampen up the top and get it ready for our scissor work so with our scissor work i'm going to create three sections one on the right one in the middle and one on the left same thing with this other side we're going to make my buddy look like a squillium for a second so now we're going to lift up that middle section and we're going to establish the desired length that we want on top. And I'm going to follow this guideline straight back through this section. And then this will act as our guideline when trimming the rest of his hair. Now we're going to comb that over to the right and get ready to trim the, the, the right side. So now we're going to take horizontal sections. And you'll see when we pull it up right here, we're going to use that middle section that we created as our reference point and just cut everything to that length. So I think I pointed out right here, you can see that length difference and we're just going to trim that following that straight forward. And one thing we were, were worried about on this haircut is since his hair has been tied back for so long, it naturally wants to split in the middle. And he wanted kind of an Edgar Bang lineup, right? And I was scared that when I line it up, that it's just going to split. So we're trying to preserve as much length in the front as possible. So that way, you know, if you cut it, too, if you if you were to cut it too short, it would split. But, you know, when you keep it longer, it has a better chance of laying down. So now we comb that over towards his left. And we're going to do the same thing to trim the rest. Horizontal section is going straight forward. But I know you see that taper there on the side. It is looking super clean. I can't wait to put the line up on this and really bring it to life. I have a lot of fun doing transformations like this, man. I don't get to do them often. Um, just because usually when people want to grow out their hair, they usually keep it. But, you know, we got we got this chance and opportunity. And I was like, man, I got to pull up my camera and record this. Now we're at the front here for that last section. And now we're gonna comb that forward and dry it. And another worry we had um, about lining it up is he did have a sectioned off part in the front when he had his long hair that we lined up. So there wasn't gonna be a lot of weight on his lineup as if that was fully grown. So we were kinda, you know, that was one of our caution areas when, when doing this step right here. So we're starting with our lineup in the middle. And we're going to move towards his right here, I believe, first. 
but I'm trying to keep this super clean. He doesn't want to take the line up too high. He kind of wants it equivalent with his, with his arch. So we're going to stop a little above that. We're going to do some trimmer over combs to get rid of that weight right there. And this is a very controversial haircut. You either like it or you don't. But my man really wanted an Edgar haircut. So I got them together. And you can see that light spot there in the middle that I was talking about where his hair wants to split. But over time, that should fill in when the hairs that were under it that we were lining up grow in. You know, it'll add some, add some density to that area. So now we're going to use the razor to go ahead and polish up that lineup. But fam, this is how we came in looking. 13 years of hair. And this is how we left. Alright fam, we gave him a super clean taper with the Edgar lineup. But like always fam, thank you for watching this video. And I will catch you guys next time.